Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ananya and today we will be testing out some products from Juno & Co. Let's get into it. So today we are going to be testing out some products that I ordered from Juno & Co. Uh, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers that I personally watch uh, use and rave about the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. So I figured I wanted to try it and I also picked up a couple of other things um, while on the website. So this is the box. It came in. It's got like this little zipper pull thing. <laughs> that's difficult. Okay. And then that's cute. Okay, so this is what the box looks like when it comes in. It says greetings from San Francisco, California. So I also picked up the clean up. Oh gosh, what is that? Why is that so? That's odd. There's like stuff. I don't know. Interesting. I also picked up the Juno & Co. Clean Up Your Act Solid Cleansing Bar so that I can clean my brushes and my sponges. And it just comes like this. Oh, what does that smell like? It smells like it's a very, very familiar scent. I don't know. Anyway, and then I also got this, which it looks like a little TV box, and then on the back it says, A cult for makeup lovers. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Nicely packaged here. And Okay, so I'm excited to try these. They're the microfiber um, velvet sponges. Which sounds so interesting. So I got one in the rosé velvet sponge and the lavender velvet sponge and then this is the moonshine miracle cream which it's got this really cute packaging with the letter j for juno and co obviously that's their logo um and then it came with this little face palette which is the juno and co perfectionist sculpting palette in bombshell okay i'm gonna go ahead and get into these this packaging is really cute. The little curtain comes out like this. And then oh, that blue is really, really pretty. And then let's get into the box. Oh goodness. I'm always terrible <laughs> at opening boxes for whatever reason. Mm, you got it glowing on. Apply cream to face and neck with a gentle massage until fully absorbed. It's got this little galaxy theme to it. Close your eyes and make a wish. Baby, you're a star. Cute. Oh gosh, I love this packaging. It's adorable. It's like a little like a little UFO and it's got like purple purple sparkles in it. And then oh that's cute. Even the little knob is like a leaf. It's like a leaf pattern. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it smells like, um, Silly Putty. <laughs> it smells like, if you guys remember playing with Silly Putty as a kid, it's kind of what it smells like. It's very nostalgic, so it's not, I'm not mad at it, but it is a little, it's a little odd. So I forgot to mention that the PR bundle box, it was the Steel to Show TV um, box PR bundle is what it's called. Uh, this that came with the Moonshine Miracle Cream, these two sponges, and the face palette. And that was $62. And then also this, the Clean Up Your Act Cleanser was $6. On its own, the sponges each are $6. So this would be $12. Um, and then the Juno Moonshine uh, Miracle Cream Primer is $25. Um, it's currently on sale for $25. It's originally $35. And then the face palette, which I'm trying to get into, is $22. So if only I can get into this, then I can start doing my makeup. Why did I make oh, my hands are terrible? So while I'm doing my makeup, I just want to update you all on my 
health journey and what's going on. Um, today it's March 31st and I will be going in to see a rheumatologist and going from there, seeing what they say and what they're going to test me for and everything. My skin right now is really not great. It's very um, painful, dry, itchy, and, and everything else. Um, but, you know, We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So I realized I never updated after my rheumatologist appointment. Um, that's because there was other things going on. We were in the process of trying to get a dog, um, which I'll have a whole thing about that at some point as well. Um, but you guys, he listened to what I had to say. And one of the first things he told me was, well, you don't have to worry about me not believing you because there's clearly something going on. And I have to say, I don't think I've ever heard those words from a doctor, ever. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, granted, with all of the, the coronavirus um, issues going on right now, my next visit will most likely be a televisit and I'm not able to get all the testing done that I need to get done because it's not good for me to be around um, all of that and put myself more at, a, at risk. Um, my child is so weird. Um, so basically I'm, I'm on another regimen of prednisone, which is a steroid and, um, some, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, as well as a prescription strength, um, anti-inflammatory, which neither of them are doing very much right now, as you can probably see. Uh, my skin is kind of back to where it was and it's not all that fun to deal with. So they did a blood test at the appointment. So I'm hoping to at least get those results and hopefully start on other medications or just get some other sort of relief because it's still pretty sucky right now. I'm just hopeful because my doctor seems pretty great. <laughs> Um, anyway, back to the video. Okay, so this is what the front looks like. And it says, Bombshell Perfectionist. Ooh, that's super pretty. It's got an odd smell to it. Spotlight is this highlighter up here. Sunbeam is the bronzer. And then the Splendor is this guy. And... Parfait is this one on the bottom, the blush. So I chose, they had a lighter one. They had a lighter face palette, but I chose this one because I like my blush to show up a little bit more. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go in now with the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream because that's the primer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use what's on here. I don't know how much to use, so I'm just gonna a little bit, okay. and then <laughs> it's seriously maybe not silly putty, maybe maybe slime. Like, yeah, it's so weird. Like, it's such a weird smell. I don't hate it. It's just really odd. So, because I've got really dry skin, my skin soaks up whatever I put onto it really quickly. So I probably need more than most people. Um, I'm gonna go in with the, I'm actually gonna use the lavender because purple's my favorite. Ow, that's sharp. But anyway, so my health, health has been really crappy, as you all might know already if you've been to my channel before. Um, I can't even open this right now. My hands, my hands are so swollen right now. My ring is stuck because my hands are so swollen. Ugh. Okay. Goodness. 
I'm going to go ahead and go wet this. That's so weird. It's like fuzzy. It's this fuzzy, like velvety material, which is different from, you know, regular sponges. Like this is here. This is the Lexi. This is from the Lexi Complete Sponge Set. And you can see the difference in materials. It's very interesting. So this is what it looks like now that it's been wet or dampened. It's It really didn't um, puff up too much, I don't think. Not really. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with my regular foundation. Where is my foundation? What did I do? Well, it would help if I knew where it was. But I don't know. But here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Il Maquillage. Woke up like this flawless base foundation in the shade 010. Focus. Alright. And just put it on the directly on the sponge. We'll see how that works. Okay. And Alright. It's definitely an interesting texture, honestly. Um, some more health talk. You know, I'm really hoping that I'm going to find some answers or get some answers today. More than I have been, at the very least. Um, and get some sort of help. Because right now, I am downright miserable. I've been miserable for months um, with this flare. It seems like it's never going to end. And I would really appreciate if it would end. So. Okay. There's one side of my face done. You know, I, I, so far, I like the sponge. It's, um, I wouldn't, I, I really wouldn't say it's any different than, you know, the, um, like a beauty blender or anything like that, but it's nice. It's definitely not necessary if you already have a, a beauty blender or something like that. Um, but it's not terrible to have extra sponges. Never terrible. Never bad to have extra I'm, we're going crazy here. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to go see my doctor and meet them for the first time and see how that goes. I don't have the best track record with doctors or like, especially new doctors. Um, I'm always worried that they either won't, be won't believe me or like, I don't know. Now that that's done. Okay, well, not necessary, but works. Let's go in now with the, and you know, I don't know if that's just my foundation or if it's the Moonshine Miracle Cream, but I really, really like how smooth my skin looks. Um, as you guys might know, I have a hard time because I've got dry skin and most of the time it's flaky. Uh, no matter what I do or try to do. Most of the time my face is dry and flaky and I feel like the Moonshine Miracle Cream kind of helps my foundation lay down a little bit better than it would without it or with a different primer. So I think so far I really like it, but here's how it looks, or my foundation looks after applying it. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the Bombshell face palette and I'm going to go in with the I you know I'm gonna skip bronzer because I don't like doing bronzer and I, you know what no I'll do it I'll do the bronzer since it's in here and I'll do it I'm going to use my big fluffy Moda Studio brush for bronzer and that shade is uh sunbeam sunbeam all right and I'm just gonna 
try and give me a little bit of color just a little bit not too much because if I get too much then I will look super odd that's why it's weird it's like this was on there and it was covering it up made it super Woo! oh lord this is why I don't do bronzer guys well <laughs> I'm only going into it very, very lightly, too. Oh, shoot. I don't like bronzer. Man. Is that... All right, well... Dip into that a lot, a lot less. Okay. This is why I don't bronze. There's the bronzer. It looks because there's more of a shadow on this side. Um, it's all right. <laughs> I I'm a little nervous about meeting this new doctor because as I am with meeting any new doctor because you never know how they're going to be and if they're going to believe the things you say and whether they're going to be good enough. I've never had, I don't have the best track record with doctors. So we'll see how well it goes. And I guess I'll just go in with this. It's not as fluffy as I usually like, but I'm going to go in with um, this one right here. This is this Jade Parfait. It's got little sparkles in it if you can see um and I'm just gonna go in very lightly very lightly I got a little bit of product pickup tap off the excess and so this is a very pretty color it's applying a little bit patchy and I'm trying to blend it out, diffuse it a little bit, but it's a little, it's a little patchy. I don't know if you guys can see, um, like it's lighter right here and interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to take this and try and diffuse it a little bit. get it to how I would like it or how I would prefer it. All right. I think that's, it's all right. It's not terrible, but it's not great. And then I'm going to go in with the bombshell. Well, it says bombshell. Um, spotlight, the highlighter here. Let's see how blinding this is. Put that right here. That's pretty. It's very subtle. There, that's pretty, okay. I like myself a blinding highlight sometimes. And why not? It's fun, it's a lot of fun. Highlights. Highlighter, I like highlighter. Highlighter is fun. Alrighty. Okay. Um, it's very, very pretty. Put a little here and on my nose. Alright. That's it for this product. And you know, I think that's actually it for the products other than the cleaning, the clean up your act so far. So I'm going to just continue doing my makeup and talking to you guys. Um, I'll finish my make, finish the look and then go in with my final thoughts. So I'm actually going to use my Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette and play a little bit with it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. The outcome that I'm hoping for, the best outcome I am hoping for, for, you know, this, um, visit 
is for them to actually do tests on me. For them to do a blood test and a urine test or whatever test that they need to do and actually do it. Because <laughs> I haven't had any doctor so far actually want to test me and be willing to test me for anything. Um, so I guess a blood test at the very least will, or just a whole complete blood workup will satisfy me for now, you know, um, maybe a little bit of relief on like my, my for my skin so that I'm able to sleep because right now I'm not actually able to sleep very much last night I did not sleep because I was very itchy and uncomfortable and yeah we've also been looking at getting a puppy which is exciting because um I love animals and dogs and we unfortunately couldn't bring our dog that we had in Hawaii with us um, it's a whole story and a whole thing, and I'm still having a hard time with the fact that she didn't get to come. But, yeah. So. I despise my eyes. Okay. Having two different eye shapes is really difficult sometimes, and it makes um, eye looks very complicated it makes them it makes it really hard to make it even and then that's a good time so i'm gonna take this fluffy brush blend 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 and then I'm going to take another small brush and go in with this pink. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my gel liner um, and just do eyeliner like I usually do. A little flick, a little something something. Now going in with the eyeliner. I always have a harder time with this eye because this eye is the eye that is so lightly hooded in comparison to my other eye. Um, the other eye. Okay. I'm gonna just go in and look my with mascara. CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. And then I'm gonna do a second layer with a different mascara. The eyes all complete. All right, next. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna go in with my Joa I'm Your Jelly Bay um, matte gel lipstick in the shade Bayfication. I don't know. Yeah, Bayfication. All right, and there's the look all complete. Um, so let's go back into this. Uh, the Juno Moonshine Miracle Cream, I really like so far. The Bombshell Perfectionist Palette, face palette. Um, I'm on the fence. Uh, it's, it's pretty and, you know, I like it. We'll see if I continue to use it. Um, but I like the color so far. The blush was a little patchy, um, but you know, it's fixable. Uh, the sponge, like I said earlier, it's another sponge. It, the, the velvetiness really doesn't do a whole lot of difference, at least that I noticed. Um, I may end up doing a video of comparison of this sponge versus, you know, a regular sponge like this one, um, just to see if there really is any difference but I didn't notice any difference, so this one, this one, you, you can get it if you want it, but it's not a necessity to me, at least. 
that's it for today guys thanks for watching if you wouldn't mind giving the video a like leave a comment down below if you have any questions for me or if you have anything that you would like to see me review and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the little notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video to all my fellow spoonies out there I hope you're doing well and if you're not I hope the good days come soon I'll see you all next time bye